Hello everyone. Welcome to Hydropower. Today, in this lecture we will talk about the forebay and surge tanks, their importance, general arrangement, condition of their application as well as hydraulic design of forebay and surge tank. So, let's start. Forebay and surge tanks in hydropower plants. The efficient flow of water is vital to the success of a hydropower plant. Forebay and surge tanks work hand in hand to regulate the flow of water into the penstock, mitigate pressure fluctuations, and safeguard the equipment. Let's explore these essential components in detail. Forebay, a regulating structure. A forebay, also known as a forebay tank or pond, is a water reservoir or small storage area located upstream of a hydropower plant. It serves as an intermediate storage and regulating structure for water before it enters the penstock, which is the conduit that carries water to the turbines. The forebay allows for the controlled release of water into the penstock, helping to maintain a constant flow rate and pressure to the turbines. Water storage. The forebay, located upstream of the powerhouse, acts as an intermediate water storage structure and ensures a steady flow into the penstock. Sediment settling. By allowing sediment to settle, the forebay prevents debris accumulation in the penstock and turbines, improving equipment longevity. Water quality optimization. When water enters the forebay, it settles, allowing particles to settle, which results in improved water quality. The overall lifespan of the power plant increases as a result. Energy dissipation. The forebay dissipates the kinetic energy of the water, minimizing the downstream impact and reducing the risk of structural damage. Surge tank, managing pressure fluctuations. A surge tank, sometimes called a surge chamber or surge pool, is a specialized structure in a hydropower plant designed to mitigate pressure fluctuations in the penstock and protect the turbines and associated equipment. Surge tanks are typically located at or near the powerhouse and provide a buffer zone where rapid pressure changes can be absorbed or dampened. Pressure regulation. A surge tank, situated at the end of the penstock, helps regulate and stabilize pressure fluctuations caused by rapid changes in water flow, ensuring consistent turbine operation and reducing the likelihood of equipment damage. Turbine protection. Surge tanks create a buffer against water hammer events and protect the turbine and associated equipment from rapid pressure changes. They're an essential component of the hydropower plant safety system and help to ensure longevity of components. Efficient power generation. By stabilizing turbulence caused by fluctuations in flow, surge tanks help optimize hydropower plant efficiency and minimize energy loss, which significantly enhances power generation capacity. General arrangement of forebay and surge tanks forebay. Location. The forebay is typically located upstream of the powerhouse and penstock inlet, closer to the water source, such as a river or reservoir. Reservoir design. The forebay can vary in size and shape based on project requirements. It may be a small pond or a larger open reservoir with a defined water level. Inlet structure. An inlet structure, such as a weir, intake channel, or control gate, directs water from the water source into the forebay. This structure helps control the flow rate and regulates the water level in the forebay. Sedimentation basins. In some cases, sedimentation basins or settling ponds may be included within the forebay to allow suspended particles and sediments to settle out of the incoming water. This improves water quality and prevents debris from entering the penstock. Outlet structure. A controlled outlet structure, often equipped with gates or valves, controls the flow of water from the forebay into the penstock. This structure ensures a constant and controlled flow rate. Forebay level control. A system for monitoring and controlling the water level in the forebay is implemented to maintain a consistent water supply to the penstock and turbines. This may involve water level sensors and control mechanisms. Surge tank. Location. Surge tanks are typically situated near the powerhouse, often adjacent to or integrated into the powerhouse structure. Their placement can vary depending on project requirements. Design configuration. 
Surge tanks can have various design configurations, including vertical shafts, chambers, open tanks, or closed tanks. The choice depends on the hydraulic conditions and available space. Volume and size. The size and volume of the surge tank are designed to accommodate pressure fluctuations and prevent water hammer effects. Larger surge tanks provide more significant pressure relief. Air admission. Surge tanks may incorporate air admission systems or air chambers to allow trapped air to escape during pressure changes and prevent cavitation. Control valves or pipes. A surge tank may include control valves or discharge pipes to release excess water during rapid pressure changes, helping to stabilize the system. Pressure sensors. Pressure sensors and monitoring equipment are often installed to continuously assess the pressure conditions within the surge tank and the penstock. Turbine connection. Surge tanks are connected to the penstock and turbines to provide pressure relief and protect the equipment from pressure surges. Safety features. Safety features, such as emergency relief valves, may be incorporated to prevent overpressurization of the surge tank. The general arrangement of forebay and surge tanks is carefully designed to ensure smooth water flow, pressure stabilization, and protection of the hydropower system. These components work together to optimize the efficiency and safety of the power generation process. The specific layout and design details will vary from one hydropower project to another based on the project's unique characteristics and hydraulic requirements. Conditions of application for forebay and surge tanks in hydropower plants. Hydropower plant size. The need for forebay and surge tanks increases in proportion to the plant's size and the corresponding changes in hydrodynamic conditions. Greater flow rates and substantial pressure variations increase the need for regulating structures. Elevation changes. Substantial elevation differences increase the hydrodynamic conditions and correspondingly the need for surge tanks. Flow variability. Hydropower plants with irregular and sudden changes in water flow are optimal candidates for forebay tanks as they regulate and provide a steady flow to the penstock. Regulatory requirements. Each regulatory body requires specific adherence to their governing policies and procedures. Compliance with these regulations is essential, which helps ensure the safety of the plant while maximizing the production. Turbine type and design. The type of turbines used in the hydropower plant influences the need for forebay and surge tanks. Pelton turbines, for example, are more sensitive to pressure changes and often require surge tanks for protection. Penstock length. The length of the penstock, which carries water from the forebay or surge tank to the turbines, can impact pressure changes. Longer penstocks are more susceptible to water hammer effects, making surge tanks more critical. Hydraulic conditions. The hydraulic conditions at the project site, including the velocity of water flow, sediment content, and water hammer potential, are evaluated to determine whether forebay and surge tanks are needed. Environmental considerations. Environmental factors, such as the impact on aquatic ecosystems and water quality, are considered when deciding on the application of forebay and surge tanks. Forebays may be used for sediment settling to protect downstream environments. Available space. The availability of space at the project site affects the design and location of four bays and surge tanks. Projects with limited space may require innovative designs or alternative solutions. Economic viability. The cost benefit analysis is conducted to assess whether the investment in four bay and surge tanks is economically justified based on the expected improvements in power generation efficiency and equipment protection. Safety and reliability. Ensuring the safety of the hydropower system and the reliability of equipment is a primary consideration. Surge tanks are often employed to prevent catastrophic failures due to pressure surges. Project specifics. Each hydropower project is unique, and its specific characteristics, including geographical location, geology, and topography, are taken into account when determining the application of forebay and surge tanks. 
The application of four bay and surge tanks in hydropower plants is based on a thorough assessment of project specific conditions and requirements. These components are strategically employed to optimize power generation efficiency, protect equipment, and ensure the safety and environmental sustainability of hydropower operations. Hydraulic design of four bay and surge tanks. The hydraulic design of four bay and surge tanks in hydropower plants is critical to ensure efficient water flow, pressure regulation, and the protection of equipment. While there are various design considerations, we'll focus on key aspects and provide a basic understanding of the hydraulic design, including relevant formulas and design calculations. Four bay hydraulic design flow rate calculation. The primary objective of a four bay is to regulate the flow rate entering the penstock. The flow rate can be calculated using the following formula as presented. Where QF equals flow rate entering the penstock AF equals cross-sectional area of the four bay VF equals velocity of water entering the penstock sediment settling. To design sedimentation basins or settling ponds within the four bay, you can use settling velocity calculations. The settling velocity is given by as the formula presented. Where? These equals settling velocity dp equals particle diameter df equals diameter of a particle that will remain in suspension g equals acceleration due to gravity. Mu equals dynamic viscosity of water. For bay level control. The hydraulic design should include a control system to maintain a constant water level in the four bay. This can be achieved using weirs, gates, or control structures. The design must account for variations in flow rates and system demands. Surge tank hydraulic design volume calculation. The surge tank volume is crucial to absorb pressure surges. The surge tank volume can be estimated using the formula. V surge equals Qmax asterisk operator delta T. V surge equals surge tank volume Qmax equals maximum flow rate into the surge tank delta T equals time duration for which the surge tank should absorb pressure surges. Pressure relief valve sizing. Surge tanks often include pressure relief valves to release excess pressure. The sizing of these valves depends on the maximum pressure expected in the surge tank. Consult relevant standards and guidelines to determine the appropriate valve size. Air admission design. Surge tanks need to incorporate air admission systems to allow trapped air to escape during pressure changes. The design should ensure that the air admission system effectively releases air without causing water hammer effects. Pressure sensor placement. Install pressure sensors within the surge tank and penstock to continuously monitor pressure conditions. These sensors are essential for control and safety. Turbine connection. The surge tank should be appropriately connected to the penstock and turbines to facilitate pressure relief and ensure the protection of equipment. The design must consider valve placement and size. Cavitation mitigation. Design features to mitigate cavitation, such as by controlling flow velocities and pressures, are essential to protect both the surge tank and downstream equipment. It's important to note that the hydraulic design of four bay and surge tanks should adhere to relevant industry standards, local regulations, and specific project requirements. Engineers and hydrologists often use hydraulic modeling software and conduct simulations to optimize the design and ensure its effectiveness in managing flow rates and pressure fluctuations. The specific calculations and design parameters can vary widely based on the project's unique characteristics and hydraulic conditions. Consulting with experienced hydraulic engineers is crucial to developing a precise design for four bay and surge tanks in hydropower plants. The importance of four bay and surge tanks regulating flow by four bay. The four bay regulates and controls the flow of water into the penstock, ensuring a consistent and steady supply of water to the turbines. Sediment settling by four bay. It allows sediment to settle out of the water, preventing the accumulation of debris in the penstock and turbines. Water quality by four bay. The four bay can improve water quality by allowing suspended particles to settle before entering the turbines. Energy dissipation by four bay. 
It helps dissipate the kinetic energy of the incoming water, reducing the risk of damage to downstream structures. Pressure Stabilization by Surge Tank Surge tanks stabilize pressure variations in the penstock caused by rapid changes in flow, such as turbine load changes or sudden shutdowns. Turbine Protection by Surge Tank they protect the turbines and penstock from water hammer effects, which can damage equipment due to sudden pressure spikes. System Efficiency by Surge Tank Surge tanks improve the overall efficiency of the hydropower plant by ensuring that turbines operate within a consistent pressure range. Safety by Surge Tank they enhance the safety of the power generation system by preventing extreme pressure fluctuations that could lead to equipment failure. Future Prospects of Forbay and Surge Tanks Energy Transition The increasing demand for renewable energy sources reinforces the need for reliable and efficient hydropower plants. Forbay and Surge Tanks' integral role in hydroelectric power generation will continue to augment the evolution of the technology powering the future. Exploring Alternate Solutions Consideration of smaller-sized power plants necessitates evaluating alternate solutions to use, given the limited availability of space. Forbay and Surge Tanks designs adapted to suit the particular plant will need further exploration to maximize their efficacy. Forbays and Surge Tanks are essential components of hydropower plants that play a crucial role in regulating water flow, protecting equipment, and ensuring efficient and safe power generation. Their design and application are tailored to the specific requirements of each hydropower project. So this much for today. We will come again with new video, till then keep on watching our videos. Thank you.